Good day, and welcome back to Uten's Log. Chapter 41 we're up to, and so last time you guys didn't get very far, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, uh, the plan was you were going to return to Iron Slug and try to see if you could locate uh, one of the conches that um, will per permit you to uh, enter the <laughs> realm of the Storm Giants. And one of uh, these conches is reputedly held by uh, Duke Zalto. So mm -hmm. having already been to Iron Slug once, you guys thought, well, it might as well go with what we know. And uh, you guys headed back. Uh, you climbed the 12,000 steps and mm -hmm. uh, found the Yak Folk village deserted except for some fire giant guards that had been posted. And you took care of them without too much trouble at all. Um, you then descended down into the mines, and you found a few traps had been laid for you, but didn't really <laughs> encounter too much uh, in in terms of resistance. Um, the final, well, it wasn't the final trap, but you one of the <clears throat> one of the traps was basically uh, a slave who had been <laughs> basically embedded as a barrier Let's to the whole the wall out of him. Yeah, the whole hallway uh, by having his limbs encased in molten iron. And so you managed to free him uh, through some clever use of Misty Step. And uh, was it Misty Step or Dimension Door? I can't remember. One of those, you basically teleported him Dimension out of the, uh, out of where he had been encased and healed him up. And uh, his name was Uncut, but he was a, d a dwarf prisoner there. And yeah, he said that when you guys had last been there after killing Duke Zalto's son, uh, the, uh, the giants just went ape shit, um, scoured <laughs> high and low. And when they didn't find you, um, they killed a bunch of the prisoners and uh, set set a whole bunch of the traps that you guys had found and uh, put him there, keeping him alive, fe basically feeding him and watering him in this state of agony um, is a way to block the egress because they knew that that was the way you guys came in and out. Um, but you freed him and you found only one other trap. There was like a pressure plate that would have set this cart rolling down the hill to slam into a great big gong at the entrance to the uh, Fire Giant's Forge. Uh, you managed to find and disable that. Uh, so you were able to enter the uh, forge pretty much unannounced and undetected um, until you basically killed the <laughs> one Fire Giant guard who was standing right next to the gong. Um, so yeah, you had a battle with him. You killed him. And uh, then you decided to leave again. Um, so <laughs> uh, yep. basically yep. <laughs> retrace your steps back out um, <laughs> and made your way back down through up through the Yak Folk Village again, back down the 12,000 steps, not all the way down, but you stopped at the uh, lair of the Chimera that you guys had killed. Uh, and you were going to uh, take a rest there. Um so that is where we left off. Uh, it's basically been about two hours since you left, uh, since you had the battle with that one fire giant guard and left his body there. Okay. Uh, um, so I'm going to move you guys over to the cave map. So... <clears throat> Excuse me, this is where we left off. You guys were in this cave. Um, and I'm just going to pick up right in real time where we left off. So I just need to know exactly what you guys want to do. Uh, I think the plan was for a long rest, yes? Yes. <clears throat> okay. All right. Were you going to post a guard, or were you going to light a fire, or what exactly was your plan? Oh yes, I think a, I think a guard is probably called for. <clears throat> and in addition to that, I if you guys want to make an insight check, I will allow that. Well, sure. Somebody's making a bunch of noise. I'm sorry, my. Oh. My computer is not working properly. Am I in? Am oh, I insightful? Boy. With a twenty-four, you're actually very insightful. Um, <laughs> it's like my mouse is uh, not working. Ooh, no. that's not good. No, and it's like stuck on 
Chrome, so all I can do is move a window around. Well, I hope you get that sorted out. Yeah. Hang on. Is that I a mean... corded mouse? Yes. They got a does it got a does it got a roller ball in it too? <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Take the ball out and blow on it and stand yeah, exactly. back in and see what happens. Do you not use a corded I'm gonna, mouse? I'm gonna restart my computer, so I'll, I'll be back. Corded only, baby. <laughs> yeah, I only use corded. Yeah, I actually do have a backup IR based one, but I Bluetooth no 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 thank you. Um anyway, so uh yes, uh Valdry, you recall a, a couple of details that might be salient. Um, one is the last time you guys kind of re retreated like this and the whole the fire giants were kind of like aroused and <laughs> raised against mm -hmm. you. Uh, you guys, you remember you came back here, um, but there, the only way you guys really kind of escaped was the fact that A, you had harsh nag with you who was able to go out and essentially kind of distract the fire giants and lure them away and you also had a means to teleport out of the cave that you're presently in which has no other means of exit except the one entrance mm, that's right and that is all so that I, I will say yes <laughs> so i i relay my uh my hey guys remember <laughs> um they may come looking for us here if they find that dead giant we just wasted at the end of the end of the tracks. I'm not so sure that this is the the best place to hang out. Unless somehow we can magically block that that entrance or stone shape. Uh, how big is the one? entrance? It's got to be pretty big, right? I think the That's scale's cool. accurate. It's about that can't be right. No, that is not accurate. Well, no, maybe it is. It's about 10 feet across. And probably about 10. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do we have? Oh, nobody has it ready. I was going to say, does anybody have Liaman's Tiny Hut ready? I don't have it ready. But can they? Can I always party, have it ready. Can a party still see that from the outside, or does it render us invisible? I don't think so. I think we're invisible from the in. From there you the, go. Let's, yeah. Okay, so Samuel, you have it prepared. Yeah. Well, I always have it prepared. I don't. I only just have spells. So I don't have to prepare them. Okay. Well, yeah, that's right. Have You're the right. ones I have. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The dome is opaque from the outside of any color you choose, so you can kind of make it seem like it. <clears throat> invisible to blend in with the surroundings. Yeah, kind of have it blend into the surroundings. Well, even if they can't, even if they can see it, they can't get in it. So, right, true. Still rest. But what, what, would they be dicks and wait a whole eight hours for it to <laughs> <laughs> for us to, for it to go pop and then they go <laughs> smashy smashy on us? Yeah, but at least we'd have like full spells and be able to yeah defend ourselves. Also, we can see out of it, so we can <clears> prepare <throat> for that fact. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Yeah. I just I just wanted to to raise. Uh, Aldry just wanted to, to raise his concerns. No. <clears throat> no, it makes so sense. What? I I agree. So if ahead, we Paul. um did instead of being in this, there's a uh, stair staircase, right? How wide is the the path leading up? If it's ten feet wide, we can just hang out. It's um, about five feet wide and like two uh, feet. I mean, it's it's enough for even if like a fire giant could scale it or not scale it, but, you know, squeeze it. But it is not basically what you're seeing there is kind of indicative of what it is in terms of its width. So there's no other location that has like just a outcropping that's 10 feet that we could just hang out in on. Not Oops. really, no. It's it's pretty much, okay. this is really about the only ledge like that. There may be places where it might be sort of wide enough. I don't know how it works in terms of if you cast it over only a partial, like if the <laughs> if there was like part of it that wasn't over ground, how that would work. You know, we could cast Lehman's Tiny Hut within a hut within the... Uh, <laughs> That's true. But whatever yeah. village that was. In the Yak Village? In the Yak Village. 
I don't know if we'd open a black hole because we created a hut within a hut, but... <laughs> oh, go inside one of those huts and then create a Liam? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're big. You could even create the hut, collapse one of the huts on top of it because it won't affect us. <laughs> and it just looked like a destroyed hut that we'd be in. Just make it even more complicated. I think that's great. <laughs> Well, what do you guys want to do? It's time is a passing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Look, I'm okay just do Lehman's Tiny Hut and rest. Yeah, I think we just it. do it here and rest. Why not? But if you guys want to try something sneakier, you know, otherwise we could run all the way down the mountain. That sounds tiring. I don't want to do that. All right. Well, I also have one more polymorph I could turn into a giant eagle to carry some people. Paul, can you, or are you done for the day? I am. Let's see here. I am out of polymorphs. I think I might have. I have. He's back. I'm have... back. And it's yeah. working. It didn't work at first, but then I literally slammed it like five or six times on my <laughs> desk. And, um. High tech sounds solution. working perfectly, <clears throat> just like a woman. <laughs> That's great, Dave. Uh, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have to edit that bit out. Oh, I'm not editing yeah. anything out. <laughs> of course, if you ask my wife that, she'll you know hit you. She wears yeah. she wears she'll the pants. The she'll knock yeah. you in the next week, is what. Just like all of you guys. Well, no. What I was gonna say. Um, when you were talking about uh, widths, the the stair itself doesn't have a ten foot width, but there are lots of like spots on the, you know, like even like above and around this cave, where there's like a ten foot diameter, you know, flat space. Um, if you can get to them, it's just yeah. Like if we, like what if like yeah. we went around the corner up here, like someplace that the giants wouldn't think to look, right? Right, where fight is made. Because they're going to go down, you know, cross the path, and they're going to go down this way, right? Yeah, I mean, and just so, in terms of, like, the on this map, you can see there's that space, like, right, right about here. At the, at the bottom, you know, that's a big flat space that would fit. Oh. What and if you... we went up there and kind of made it looking like sandstone brown, would they... Kind of look like a big old boulder like this. <laughs> well, and it's, um, I'm trying to think what time it is. I don't know if I actually I forgot to get my dice out. Um, I can't recall at what time you guys entered. But I'm thinking it's probably getting close to dark. Of course that dice fell on the floor. Um, I thought you said it was like afternoon. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking it's been about two hours coming out, so it's probably three or four o'clock. Well, you know, maybe that's not a bad idea. Get up on one of these and make the hut and make it look like a big brown rock boulder or something like that. At least we'd have a little more. We'd have different avenues of escape. Let's put it that right. way, instead of all yeah. being nice and conveniently bunched up in here Correct. for them. Yeah. There are also scrubs and bushes and stuff that you can kind of cover the thing, the hut with too. Yeah. Yep. I like that. Plan. Yeah. Now, if you guys wanted to do that and then say, try to camouflage it using, like I said, bushes or other stuff, mm -hmm. I would basically let you make like Shrubberies. a group stealth check essentially to see how good of a job you did. Sure. <laughs> and, uh... So wouldn't survival be better for that? That would, uh, yeah. If you had wait. a better score for survival, I would, I would accept a roll for that. Who's got a really good survival? I have a uh, uh, plus six. Yeah, I'm better on stealth than survival. I got yeah, stealth and survival. Yeah, me too. I have eleven for stealth. Yeah, seven oh. for me. Wait, wait, wait. Eleven sounds better to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just don't roll a one. So why don't you guys each roll, yeah, either oh, stealth or survival. Two. You're 
welcome. Oh yeah, we don't want mine. <laughs> so which one are we doing, stealth? You can pick. Whichever one's better yeah, for you. Yeah. Survival was better for oh, me. Okay. And not hey. and not that. <clears throat> um, okay, so we've got Kyle was thirteen, Dave was twenty one, Don's four, Paul's seventeen, okay, and Tim's twenty one. Okay. Yeah, toss toss out the Well no, score. it's it's basically kind of a <laughs> it's an averaging type of thing. Um, okay. No, oh, it's yeah, okay. You is everyone else rolled enough that um, Oh yeah. It, well yeah, it basically it's gonna be up, against like, their spot like check, but you are ball. against you're not like in the path. You're above the path. Even though the fire giants obviously are very tall, uh you're I would say you're mm -hmm. probably a good thirty, forty feet off the path. Um, it's just a matter of how are you guys gonna get up there. I got grappling hooks and stuff like that, so. Okay. Uh, grappling and hook, you wouldn't need a skill check or anything. What about the rest of you guys? Well, I'll change. I mean, we can use, we can use mirrors. Yeah, I mean, everybody hook. can climb the rope. Okay. You know? yeah. I'll change into a spider and, and drag everybody up. Drag everybody. Because my thread's unbreakable no matter how heavy. You drive me up. Or okay. Drive me up. So yeah. let me. Yeah. I'll, I'll save I'll, that. I'll hug uh, Groot's furry spider body. Okay, so <laughs> this is. Yeah, if, you know. Yeah, if we if we can do it, the grappling hook. Let's use the. Low is it tech a ten way. foot square or a circle? <clears throat> no, I, was, I was saying he, he. Why don't we try the hook first, and if that doesn't work, then he can change into the spider. If you well if you've got a grappling it. hook and you're going to take your time, that's that'll work. Yeah. Um, why can I not draw on all these killings that you you mentioned in the the summary? Could you please put alleged because it's purely circumstantial case at this point. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Who? Who know? Who knows? Well, who whacked that uh, yeah, that fire we, giant in there? So it could yeah, have been anybody. We were just on the way yeah. there to visit. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, we haven't officially officially admitted to anything. That's to anyone right. Alive right now, have we? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> right. Nope. We 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 didn't leave our business card, <clears throat> so. Nope mirror was here you know carved into the stone wall or something like that suck it fire giants <laughs> okay yeah I'd... yeah that's so that's where the if you guys can like see where the circle is that's basically where i'm going to put your hut um so why don't oh, you guys okay. kind of position your i don't see a circle it's scroll down. down oh scroll down so should we ah, put ourselves yeah, okay. in there got it Genius. Okay, and you guys can, I believe, see out. Get all cozy in the hut. Telephones. Dome is opaque for me. Swapping, man. Get all cozy in the hut. Swapping. Manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't say anything about it, how it treats, you know, how it affects what you can hear. You guys can see it's basically transparent from the inside, but opaque from the outside. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rule that it really doesn't affect sound at all. I mean, apart from maybe being like a, a slight distortion, um, but you would mm -hmm. be able to hear just you know pretty much as clearly who's left who's left in the cave up there oh that's uh yeah. what in uh unkelt what's his name uncut, oh, yeah. uncut. there's someone and else Gert, oh yeah uncut just stole there. by the bridge it's it's really hard to move crap without a right mouse button on the chromebook i'll i'll move oh <laughs> thank you 
Um, right. Are you all going to stay inside? Okay, so you're all going to stay inside the hut then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's yes. it's translucent from the inside, so we should be able to see out just fine. Okay. Unless it snows. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me see. I believe I've got the watch order in a document. Okay, yeah, party notes right at the top. Um, okay, so look, Groot, looks like you've got first watch, um, then Valdry, then Mirror, then Samro, then Serendio. Okay... Okay, Groot, uh, your watch passes. You don't hear anything. You do hear a few kind of rumbly noises far off, like something is going on inside the mountain almost, it seems like. But uh, it's very distant and faint. Uh, you can't really make anything out in terms of details. Okay, you. Uh, otherwise, your watch passes uneventfully. Uh, Valdry, you would be next. And pretty much the same thing, except you don't hear anything of the noises that you that were reported by uh, Groot. Okay. And mirror. Same thing for you. Hang on. Uh, okay, uh, then Samro. Um, okay, you are on watch, I guess, watch and hearing. You really, unless you move, unless you're, you, where you're if you're remaining inside the, um, inside the uh, hut itself, you really can't see the path much at all. Um, but you can hear, and uh, you hear what sound like very large footsteps multiple <laughs> footsteps multiple footsteps. very large footsteps huh. footsteps <laughs> yeah i'm not going to do anything i'm just going to keep listening and keeping an eye out if i see anything you know? okay um yeah you hear actually uh, a very loud voice call out, kind of startlingly close. Um, do you speak, Giant? I do. Okay. Uh, yeah, you hear someone say in Giant, uh, Oh, where is Zelto? And you hear another voice say, Oh, he's coming now. Mmm, sweet. I'm going to just kind of keep letting them go. Okay, well, the footsteps have stopped. Mm -hmm. Well, they're waiting for Zalto, right? Yeah, and you hear another voice, which sounds quieter, um, say in common, do you have any idea how long this is going to take? And uh, the louder voice that formerly sounded like you think it's the same <laughs> voice uh say he's coming just hold your horses <laughs> i'm gonna just let him do their thing yeah. tighten the zipper of the hut a little yeah, bit tighter exactly <laughs> <laughs> okay so you're uh not gonna wake your companions um and you're just gonna sit yeah, so far. Okay. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, and um, you still hear nothing else. Except for once in a while. I guess make a perception check. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you hear nothing else. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of waiting, and I mean, I can see out, so I'm kind of keeping an eye out to see if I see anything. Okay, again, you can't see the path from where you're at. No, it's but I would be able to see if, if they were coming up by us or something. 
Uh, well, you're right. If someone's decided to climb the the ridge you were on. Now where where are they? Yeah. Well, we don't we don't know where oh, they are okay. on the path. We just know that they're well, below. Well, none. Right now, Kyle. only Samuel knows anything. Samuel's, He's the only one that's awake. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The rest of us are blissfully unaware of what's going on. Sleeping or praying or whatever. Yep. Okay. So after about another. 20 minutes or so you hear more footsteps approaching and uh more you hear a little bit more stirring you know kind of below it's it sounds like the whatever was there is kind of off to your left a bit like coming from somewhere in that area and okay. the approaching footsteps uh again very heavy um something very large or some things plural are coming up the path uh, from the direction of the Yak Folk Village. So from right. like around hereabouts, if I was on the right tool. Um, so the um, the footsteps approach, and uh, one of somebody from the area that uh, you heard the voices coming from before, you hear them move forward and uh, sh proclaim in giant, Oh, Lord Zelto, we have guests. And then you hear a, a more authoritative sounding voice uh, re re reply, I can see that. Have you found the intruders yet? And um, the other, vo I hate doing NPC <laughs> monologues. Uh, the other voice uh, says, uh, we've been looking, but no, we haven't found them yet. But we've got these from, where are you from again? And you hear the, uh, the quieter voice say in kind of a sighing tone of voice, we're expected. And um, then the authoritative voice, who you take assume is Duke Zalto, um, says, Oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you a while now. I was going to tell you not to come this way, um, but things got a little bit hectic around here. Uh, the other voice says, Well, it sounds like you're having some issues keeping the security in tight around your place so this may actually work out to be to our advantage uh duke zelto doesn't respond to that <laughs> um the other voice says so what's the story duke are we meeting here or are we going to go inside or do you have some sort of an airship we can sit on and talk on or what is exactly going on here and uh, Zalto responds saying listen I've got my own problems to deal with here but all I really care about is do you have the flask and the other voice says of course I do but is this the best place to give it to you? And the Duke says, give it to me here or we'll find some other way to take it from you. <laughs> and the other voice says, hmm. now, now, there's no need to be rude. A flask. <laughs> Guy's an alcoholic. <laughs> I've got it right here. Actually, Tall, give it to him. And tall. Uh, another voice speaks up, and uh, this one sounds very similar to the other one. Um, what languages do you guys speak? Everything. Uh, yeah. I have a babble fish in my ear. Right. <laughs> um, uh, common, dwarvish, elvish, giant, orc. Other than that, common, I have goblin and hopper. And celestial. <laughs> Goblin, halfling, and orc. 
Actually, I don't know why I'm asking you guys. You're asleep, except for us. So, Samuel, you said you I'm the only up. one that matters. No, I... Common, Dwarvish, Elvish, Giant, and Orc. Okay. Um, make an... Make an intelligence check. Okay. There we go. Um, these the two quieter voices. Um, you detect a bit of an accent that is kind of almost elvish in nature, but it's some kind of variant of it that you're not quite familiar. Dialect, with. Dialect, maybe. Yeah. Okay, uh, in any case, the uh, the second voice, who uh, is somebody different, uh, apparently whoever is speaking is named Tal, uh, says, I have the flask here. Now, two things. You will, as your first actions when you put this into place, be destroying Gauntelgrim, correct? And... Um, Zelta replies, yes, of course, of course. And Tal um, then replies, and you also realize that, that if this thing gets out of control, it's going to destroy everything within this mountain, including you. You will not, it is really strongly advised that you do not uh, release this until you have a way to contain it. And Zelta goes, of course. Now hand it over. And Tal goes, and thirdly, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. um, so then there's quiet for a second. He's a, uh, you hear a voice say, careful, it's hot. And Zelta replies, I didn't really notice. <laughs> well, if you've got nothing else... You can see yourselves back down the stairs. We've got some other business to attend to here. <laughs> um, and then the first voice that you heard speaking says, Well, of course, because there's nothing we would rather do than traipse up and down this silly mountainside. Very well. We will see our way out. A pleasure, as always, Duke. Yeah, get moving. <laughs> and uh, you hear um, a large number of footsteps um, start moving away back in the direction down the steps towards the entrance, along with a, a couple heavy footsteps. Uh, it sounds like whoever the smaller folk were are being accompanied by at least a couple giants. And I'm just going to you know, let everyone sleep and I'll let them know about it in the morning. Okay. <clears throat> and Okay. Um, then you hear uh, Zalto say Glad they're fucking gone. All right, so rest of you, <laughs> they're obviously not coming up the stairs this far, or they would have been seen by that by uh, the other guards. So I want you to scour back along the cliffside. You take that cave that's over there. <laughs> um. So. You uh, hear one set of foot, actually a couple set of footsteps moving in the direction of the cave. And alarmingly, you hear what sounds like a giant starting to scale the side of the cliff that you're currently on. Ah, crapola. <laughs> I'll probably start quietly waking people. Okay. If I can tell that someone's kind of getting closer and not on the path anymore. Oh, yeah. You hear somebody actually, you can, yeah. 
you hear the, you know the sound of something very large you know cl climbing their way up up this cliff uh, you also see what looks like torchlight shining yeah as soon as i can tell that that's happening i'll start quietly waking people yeah it up is i'm sorry but it is after dark by this point too it's it's oh. it's it's nighttime now so uh, okay, so you have started to wake people up. Uh, let's do an initiative roll. Let's see who Whee! does what and when. Well, that sucked. <laughs> stuck in single digits right now somebody has to be yeah i guess it's my turn okay um i guess i gotta do uncut too i think he's just a commoner i mean he's not gonna be a combatant of any you know i'm not gonna roll an initiative for him well you know i will he's just not gonna do much Did we get any rest? Um, at this point, really. you would have been. For, sort of you're basically rest. halfway through the night's rest, or two thirds okay. of the way, maybe. Okay. Because uh, Samuel's number four in the watch order. Okay. Okay. Wow, he got a 14. He did better than half of you guys. Um,. Okay, let me sort down descending. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go. You guys are all awake now. Uh, Serendial, it is your turn. I mean, we're, we're, we're still kind of like hidden though, right? Yeah, we At are. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have yeah, to I'm do anything I'm honestly yet. just going to... Cool. Well, actually what I will do is I'm going to... Well, you've been awakened. What, uh, Samuel, what did right, you actually right. say to them? Or whisper to them? I told them... Well, I, I kind of pointed to where the light is and said there's a giant nearby. Stay quiet, yeah. Stay quiet. <laughs> there's a giant nearby kind of thing. Well, the hut masks our sounds, right? It doesn't say anything about well, masking sounds. Well, said it doesn't say anything. Yeah. Okay. It's just translucent from the outside. Yeah. Ju well, it's translucent from the inside. It's opaque oh. from the outside. Yes. Got um, it. <laughs> they can see you, but you yeah. can't see them. <laughs> It's like the ravenous right, blood bladder piece of troll. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's the cursed version of Liam. Yeah. Um, okay. right. I it will. Say, so we do have to be quiet. Yeah, I will click my boots together and ready my rapier, so that I get you know um, my boots of speed, just in case. Okay. That's that's what I'll do. I'll just wait. And Groot. <clears throat> I want to do absolutely nothing and wait because they have nothing else to do. All right. Mirror. I'll uh, take, get my bow in my hand and kind of get ready. Uh, if something attacks us, I'll be ready to shoot an arrow. Okay. Uh, uncuts kind of quietly sobbing. Uh, Samuel, what are you going to do? <laughs> I am just currently keeping watch. Just not doing anything yet. Okay. Okay, so there's more noises clambering up the side of this. And now you can start to see that uh, whatever it is is coming from this uh, switch layers. Coming from this area. Yeah, okay. Uh, you can definitely hear it approaching now, and you kind of hear the labored breathing of something very large and very heavy uh, making its ascent. Um, you also hear noises of the footsteps receding closer to the cave where you guys were initially taking shelter. Uh, Voldemort. Uh, yeah, I'm just... 
sitting and waiting. Um, like I said, if we get attacked, I'm going to unleash my uh, Radiant Soul so I can fly. Nice. Smart. Okay, then, Serendio, we're back to you. I still don't see anything, huh? No, but whatever it is, you figure it's, like I said, it's probably on that second shelf, that second tier shelf. So it's not far away. Yeah. I don't want to do anything, though, until I know for sure. And it can't harm us, so I'm just going to wait. Okay, Groot. I'm going to wait as well. And Mirror. Same. Samuel. Still have my... Yep, just kind of waiting. Okay, um, so over the edge of the ridge, uh, you guys indeed see um, a fire giant climb. And he's making his way up, and he spends the remainder of his turn kind of climbing up to the shelf that you guys have this on. He looks around... Um, and doesn't immediately spot the cam up, you know, he doesn't immediately like pinpoint the, uh, the dome that you guys, the hut. So he, uh, kind of starts looking around and doing a more thorough search, but so far he has not located you guys yet. Uh, Valdry. Again. Waiting, waiting, and watching. Okay, Serendial. <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> and Groot. Um, this is back to us right now. Uh, he's kind of looking in the direction of the cave. Well, he's actually looking at the ground, but he's facing in the direction of the cave. So he's kind of oblique. Um, kill him! Kill him. Yeah, right. Um, get invisible and punch him in the balls. Okay. If I could punch him in the balls invisibly, I would do that, but I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is, as a bonus action, I'm going to turn into an eagle, and my goal is to distract him, to keep him looking away from the group. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to basically swoop past his head, not attack him, Let's swoop past his head. Let him think that I'm here. This is way too big. Yeah. Uh, but actually, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what's what's okay? So it's ten foot squares. There are five foot squares actually. Is it a ten foot? Okay, then it would. It, it's a ten foot creature. Yep. So it is that big. There you go. Anyway, so I'm gonna swoop on by, uh, whoosh over his head, and uh, let's see, ten, twenty. Take a. Take a crap on him as you go by. Actually, I guess I will. I will uh, double move so that I'm farther away from him. I know he can probably whack me with a boulder, but you know. Well, I was gonna say, are you gonna get close okay. enough, like within striking distance, or? <clears throat> um. You know what? Actually, he doesn't have a weapon drawn at the moment, so I'm gonna say he doesn't provoke. You you can't provoke an opportunity attack. So I would just swoosh swoosh by him then, since he has no weapon, just to get him distracted. Okay. All right, so you kind of, like, burst from cover. It's almost kind of like you burst from the cover of a rock, essentially. Um, mm -hmm. I'm assuming you kind of exited the the hut from the back so that he didn't see you just, like, phase yep. through the solid rock suddenly. Correct. Uh, although yep, although he, right. <laughs> it's like corner of the eye, but still. Uh, in any case, you swoop over his head, uh, startle the crap out of him. Um, <laughs> he doesn't Falls lose his footing. Line. Falls off, cracks his head, he's dead. Yeah, he doesn't lose his footing, but he yells out. He's like, what the hell? And uh, he does then uh, draw out his greatsword and kind of swings wildly at you as you flap by. Um, and 
probably almost like a fly, you know? Yeah. Well, he's he's got a torch in his other hand, and he's kind of like looking around, and he's like peering into the darkness where you flew. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's what I did then. Okay. Well done. Uh, Mirror, it is your turn. And you actually, you hear voices coming from back in the direction. Actually, you guys have, uh, let's see, you have dark vision, but it would be like a 60-foot range, I believe. So you really can't see mm-hmm. yeah. beyond the edge. So, But you hear voices raised. Uh, well, you do actually, no. You know what? Uh, from your vantage point, you would be able to see pretty much to see the cave. Uh, you do see two sets of torchlight um, near the entrance. And from that direction, uh, you hear uh, Duke Zalto's voice uh, shout, What? Did you hear something? Did you find something? And the fire giant that you buzz bombed uh, says, I think it was a bird. And there's no reply from (laughs) Duke Zalto. Zalto. (laughs) Dumbass. Uh, So here it is your turn. It was a bard? It was a bard. (laughs) It's a a bard. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I'm not gonna. Electric loot. I'm not doing anything at this point. Okay. Um, Uncut is like almost stopped breathing. Uh, but Samuel, it is your turn. Well, I heard him say that it was just a bird, which implies to me he still doesn't know we exist. So I'm gonna just keep waiting. Okay. All right. So it is his turn. Um, let me check. All right. He turns around and walks over directly towards the ro- uh, the hut. Uh, he stops and kind of looks down at it and then walks around behind it where he saw the, the eagle come from, and is kind of looking around. Uh, oh that's God. the extent of his searches for his turn. <laughs> uh, Valdry, it is your turn. <laughs> Valdry is being very, very quiet. <laughs> okay. Um... I'm going to say, actually, everybody make a stealth check with advantage. How quiet is he? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Woo! Look at that! Jesus Christ. Mirror stopped existing. There's no chance of that. Jesus. Don and I are kind of middling. (laughs) Yeah. Dave, you're a black hole. You're so stealthy. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. None of us know where the hell you I, are. I stopped. Where'd he my... go? He was right here. <laughs> Stop my heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got to do the uh, uncut as well. Oh, he got an 11 with advantage. He's like starting to go. <laughs> <laughs> He's like starting to actively sob. What the hell? Uh, Valdry, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. So you're, are you actually going to do anything or are you just going to stay quiet as being your only action? Me? Yeah. Uh, I, uh, well, if, if, I can, if I can reach over to uncut, I am going to put my big meaty hand over his mouth to keep him quiet. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, I don't know if a skill check would be really necessary there. So I'm going to say that you go ahead and clamp your hand on top of his. And that silences things for the moment. Uh, Serendial? I'm just going to remain quiet. There's no reason to well. fight this guy because we're just going to draw attention. Groot? Baldur, he thinks to himself, thank God we didn't make beans for dinner tonight. <laughs> that, was part of the, that was part of the stealth. I, I, I am going to attempt to pull. I'm going to go back at him. I'm going to attempt to pull the um, 
the torch from his hand with my claws, like a flyby talon. Oh, attack. yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, go ahead and make Straight. an attack roll. Yeah, you don't like... You don't like that fire. Fire bad. Uh, yeah, let's see. This is tough to educate because there aren't any, like, specific rules. Um... <laughs> I would say that you basically are able to grab it with your talons, but to pull it from him, you'll need to make an opposed strength check. Sure, I'll do that. <laughs> he rolled a natural okay with that. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> well, I will, Damn. I will, I will scree and keep flying. Okay. I'm not going to sit there and try and pull, keep pulling, so I can move 160. So it was, it was 70 to get to him. Um, anyway, I'm going to move away. Okay. So, so now he does have his great. Fly by. He does have his great sword out, so he will get an opportunity attack as you fly away, because he basically okay. tried to grab onto his torch, and he really didn't like that. Uh, he takes one swing. Uh, AC 14. Yeah, that hits. Okay, uh, you take 36 in slashing damage. Damn. Okay, I come tumbling to the ground as Groot. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. Well, shit. Don't, 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 do, any, don't do anything yet. Um, <laughs> we, all come out of, we all come out of the cake. Hello. Um, and all our ready to actions come to life. And I didn't then, hear any ready so, to actions. Okay, so that was... So that was my. I said that on the first turn. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. Yeah, these are but. So hang on a second. So hang on a second. So, yeah. I flew. I did my attack, right? I was gonna keep keep my movement, which is fine. Right. I got whacked, which is okay. So I still got my bonus action, right? Sure. I would still have a bonus action. Okay. So let me make. Uh, sorry, so I gotta I gotta reduce my hit points here because that transferred over. Now it's 70 instead of 80. So as soon as that happens... Um, change again? I want to change again. What am I going to change into? Nice. A little teeny spider. Yeah, that's one hit point. Um, <laughs> but he won't be able to see you. Right. Oh. You guys aren't there. So there you go. That's true. I'm making a... Stupid ass decision here. <laughs> Stupid ass executive decision. Um, how fast is this guy? No. Spider monkey. Spider monkey. Hang on, hang on. I see have... the spider monkey. Looking for an ice spider queen. Oh. Uh, I oh, think nice. that should be. I added it to the thing. I yeah, do. I do have yeah, it. It's got 30. That. It can climb 30. I'm assuming. I'm trying to think here from a, from a logistic perspective. Oh, it's uh, outside um, of the. Le it's in Groot's, Groot's Wild Shape BC. So it's outside of the leveled group. No, I, I found it. Oh, okay. Um, it's trying to figure out uh, from a logistics perspective where where is the next up, right? Like, so if I were if I were to turn into something, I'm just trying to figure out. I'm tempted, maybe if I become an eagle, if he hits me one more time, I'm I'm dead, right? That if kind of is in an uppish action. direction. So, like, I can get above him. Oh, you wouldn't would be able to get a bump. I mean, he's me. tall. I mean, giants are like 15, 20 feet tall. Uh, so it would be yeah. probably more like a chest height to him, and then like, you know, maybe 50 feet further on, it would be at his head height. So it's it's more of a gradual, like, stepped incline type thing. So he would, he would be able to follow me, is what I'm hearing. Uh, he would. Right. He would come. I mean, you would probably. What is your movement rate as a spider? Let's see. Uh, 30 feet. Yeah, that's his movement too. At so, 60. Uh, but, but you've got vertical climb. climb. That's what was, right, that's what I'm trying to say. If it was if there was a climbable surface, then I would move 60 up and just hope he can't hit me with a rock. Um, uh, 
An eagle has so few hit points, I think I would die no matter what. I gotta be able to survive one hit. Actually, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna stay exactly where I am because I will. I will do. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna stay there. And I'm gonna flip them off. That's my bonus <laughs> action. I'm gonna say fuck you, giant. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Which is the middle leg on a spider? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not changing anything yet. I'm gonna save my bonus action for, to get the hell out of dodge. Next turn. Okay. Okay. And that's gonna be my but my bonus action now is to flip off the giant and say screw you, buddy. Okay, and, a, uh, a look of basically a complete comical shock and surprise is on his like this was not what he was expecting to happen when he hit you with his sword. Uh, but it's not his turn, so he, that's all he can do. Um, okay, so that was Groot. Uh, Mirror, it is now your turn. Um, I didn't really see what the hell happened because i have a giant in my way so i'm just gonna kind of hang on and well you you saw have my you my... you saw groot as the eagle you you knew you knew the eagle was Groot. yeah you okay, saw him flying right. and he saw him get whacked and then all of a sudden you hear like a tumble to the ground and the giant's like what fuck yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm not gonna shoot at him because i'm still yeah. we're still covered so yep okay um I'm just going to have my, my bow and arrow ready, as I have since the beginning. Okay, when you say you have your bow and arrow ready, are you readying an action specifically to do something? In which case, you need a trigger, a specific trigger. Yeah, because I, I said um, if, like, he discovers us, I was going to gonna shoot them. If he so discovers you... Is that specific enough? Well, if he discovers you, meaning... Because he's already discovered Groot. The group. So if our cover is blowing from this circle thing. What would let you know? What would be the determining factor in that? What kind of reaction from him would trigger that? He, he would start attacking towards us. Okay. So if he makes a hostile action it, towards the group. Yeah. Okay. Any Any one of us. Except Groot, right? Okay. How's that? That's yeah. Groot's on his own. Okay. Yep. <laughs> that is perfectly cool. Uh, all right, then uncut. Um, he has Valtteri's hand still clamped over his mouth, so he's just like, mm, 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 yep. mm. <laughs> like shit in his pants. Uh, Samuel, it is now your turn. I'm still doing nothing. Okay. At this point. Um. Uh, the giant, uh, he yells out, Lord Zalto, I got him! And he takes a, two swings at you, Groot, with his greatsword. Uh, 14, I'm assuming, misses you in your natural form. But a 21, I'm assuming, hits you. Correct. Twenty-one. Uh, I'm going to try to use cutting words to uh, subtract a D8 from that as a as a reaction. Yeah. Nice. Can you? Can we cast spells through the hut? Well, it's not a spell. Does that work through the hut? I believe so. Uh, let's see the. Creatures and objects Spells within the dome, when you cast a spell, can move extend. about freely. All of the creatures and objects are... Uh, uh. Spells and magical effects can't extend through the dense... Yeah. Through the dome, excuse like, me. Or be cast through it, so no. So I probably couldn't do that. You'd have to stick your head out and do it. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I can't. And this is a reaction, so. Yeah, I can't move because it's a reaction. So yeah, I guess I'm not, a, I'm not doing that. <clears throat> okay, so... <laughs> Uh, the second attack did 26 slashing damage. 28. Yep. Got it. Or 28. Sorry. That's right. It. Eyes yep. going blind. I got it. Ow. Um, Ow. And, yeah, he's not going to move where he's at. He just is trying to get Duke Zal Make sure Duke Zalto knows that he found the intruders and he saved the day. And that's all he's doing. Right, right. Um. Yeah, I guess I can take these guys off the GM layer here, so. Uh, 
Shisa. I think we should save the hut, but maybe we should exit the hut and try to attack this fucker quick and then get back in it. Well, it's Duke Zelto's turn. Um, yeah. <laughs> Shit. He um, comes out of the cave. I guess the other guy was more in the cave, so I'll put him back more in there. Uh, he comes out of the cave and he says, you hold that fucker right there. And, uh, no shit. <laughs> he basically starts dashing. Uh, let's see to there. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he'd get to about there. Okay. Valdry, it is your turn. <clears throat> well, I, I look at everyone else in the hut and said, well, I say, well, is it time to fight? <laughs> Shit's real. I think so. Yeah. I agree. All right. Valdry, I am, I am bursting out like a phoenix through the top. I'm flying out. Okay. Uh, you yeah, go fl- get about 30... flying through the ceiling of this yep. dome, um, kind of spewing some of the debris you'd use to try and camouflage it in all directions. And uh, you're now floating 30 feet above the ground and above the dome. You cast a Radiant Soul. Yep. yep. Unleash the divine energy within yourself. So your eyes... Yeah, baby. Your eyes glow and wings kind of sprout out behind you yep okay so he so when i get 30 feet so when i get 30 feet is is that my i suppose that's my action isn't it um the radiant soul or is that my move or that's my use your action so that would have been your action yes but you would well 30 feet would have been your move then okay all right well then uh bonus action I'm going to cast uh, I'll cast spiritual weapon there you go get the mighty mac out nice 23 yeah okay I'm going to put a set of wings or something on you of course there aren't wings so what <laughs> I'll just put a little yellow thing on you there. Yep. Uh, do you have the ability to add the spiritual back? Uh, I should. Yeah, you should be able to drag it in. And... There it is. Whoop. Which is way too big. <laughs> it's a little. Yeah, it's a little big. There you go. So I hit. So I hit him with that. So well, I, I think does twenty does twenty three hit? Uh, yes, it does. He's wearing full plate armor, but that does hit him. Okay, so he also takes an additional additional eight radiant. That is an effect of my radiant soul ability. Sweet. So five. So eight. You said eight additional. Thir- yeah. So thir- So thirteen total. Okay. Nice. All right. And I wave my private parts at his ante. <laughs> <laughs> okay and yeah he, he's completely shocked by this and wasn't expecting it um especially the spiritual weapon thing the Go guy ahead. with flying wings bursting out is even more <laughs> shocking to him um okay so now we've got the other fire giant i believe is in the cave so he is going to move let's see there. Yeah, he'd get to the end of the bridge if he dashed. So he's basically on the edge of the bridge. <clears throat> Sorrendial, it is now your turn. All right. Um, I start my blade song as a bonus. I rush over here. And then I will use my blade song ability to first cast Scorching Ray. Which gives me, uh, I suppose, the 13's miss, but the 24. 
Uh, 24 hits. So he takes four points from that. This and is then the uh, giant that's... Use my... Th this giant right here? Yeah, the one right in front okay. of me. Yep. And then I use my Blade Song ability to cast a cantrip as well, and I cast Firebolt. Nice. 23, 15. Jesus. Okay, that's fire damage, though, isn't it? Yeah. God damn it. Okay. Still. Yes. Okay, yeah, he doesn't seem to... So it only takes seven of Yeah, that. and the, the Scorching Ray is also yeah. fire damage, is it not? Um... I totally forgot. Um, I believe so, but let me double check. Yep, rays of fire. Yep, fire damage. Yep. So are they are they immune to that, or does it like he does not seem it terribly look like he impressed? Took any damage? <laughs> right. Oh, he doesn't take any damage, huh? It's like pew pew pew. He seems completely <laughs> unaffected by those spells. It it heals him. All right, all right. <laughs> of any damage. Anyway, that was my ineffectual action. Well, you were testing a theory. Uh, <laughs> yep. uh, Groot. All right. Um, do, do, do. Well, shit, I didn't want anybody to attack. So that kind of blows that one out the window. <clears throat> uh, Sorry, man. I didn't think we had a choice at this point. I could have let him away. That was the whole plan. Um, I guess I'm going to turn into a giant friggin' sneak. Yeah, bigger than him because that's how I roll. And, uh, <laughs> that's because uh, this DM can't set the scale right, apparently. Well, no, roll 20 does that sometimes. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. so... Oh, oh, crap, it was there before. All right, uh, that's my bonus action. Uh... And I will do that. Hit by 17. Uh, 18's what you need. So you're not able to quite grab onto his uh, armor. It slides off. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's all I got. Okay, so so far only Valdry and um, Groot have made themselves known. Mirror, right. it is your turn. Yeah. I mean, I can't shoot through this thing, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna step like back here, out of it. Okay. And then, so you make your presence known. So that's, yeah, that's maybe what fifteen feet, something like that. And I'm gonna shoot my uh, bonus action. I can do my hunter's mark. So I'm gonna do that. For so that'll be four points. And I'm gonna shoot my arrows. Um, he's he's been injured already, so I can use my colossus. Uh, he thing. has not been injured already. Oh no, the the sorry, yes, the spiritual mac has had injured him. Yeah. Yep, I got him. So that misses. It pings off his armor, but that second shot hits. Yep. Okay, so 8, 9, 10, 11. No fire damage, though. Right? right, no fire damage. Correct, right. So 11 plus 4, 15 points. Okay. Arrow finds him, and he, like, wheels around and glares at you. More puny small folk to crush. Yeah, I'll stay there. Okay. Um, uncut, now that Valdry isn't there to keep his hand over his mouth, starts shrieking in terror <laughs> and bolts. I mean, basically, he kind of only has just a, a very vague dis idea of that that's the boundaries of this. Hot the terrain because right? it's transparent from the inside. So he just runs away, fleeing over this way. Oh God! And oh God! Like basically headlong, dives over the edge of the cliff, falls. Oh my God! Yes. About. Well, let's see. Oh my God! 
He falls see, flat on his face. Uh, Groot, well, no, Groot, I guess you wouldn't see this. I, Voldry, you would see this. Uh, although, I guess you don't see the end effect. You just hear a splat yeah. and then yeah. silence. Uh, right? <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> and Samuel, it's your turn. Well, all right. Maybe I can revive. Maybe if I can <laughs> reanimate him. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, I'm going to step out and swing my rapier at him. Oh boy, we are so fucked. Yeah. Seventeen okay. nice. piercing. That hits. Yeah, and... We are. So we, strike. we are so fucked. <laughs> Can I ask a question about Does this hut to the prone? group? So, uh, hang on, let me quick do this damage to him. Uh, what was your question, Paul? It's to the group about the tiny hut. So, if if people attack and step back in, they can't target you, right? They can't see you. Right, right. They can't see you. Yeah. They can't see you, can't target you. So theoretically, people should be moving in and out of the hut. Yeah, yeah good idea. Right. Uh, well, yeah. Samuel, you have not ended your turn yet, so what do you wish to do? Did he get knocked prone? Oh, um, he has to make a strength saving throw. That's right. Uh, yeah, he just oh, sucks at strength. Here's the thing. The spell ends if you leave its area. Oh. Uh, so once Valtry, or once uh, Samuel oh. left, it, it goes, goes poof. poof. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. And all other creatures and objects are barred from passing through it. Other than the ones that were inside. Oh, it so can move through it freely. Yeah. Got it. <clears throat> but once you left, it went poof. Yeah. Okay. Too bad he didn't go for outcut. <laughs> we took seventeen damage then, though, right? All right. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, Samuel, that that was you basically took you know five feet of your movement and attacked. You still have some other movement. Yeah. Did he pass his? Oh, I keep forgetting. I'm sorry. Uh, strength check. <laughs> well, I not keep forgetting. I keep getting distracted. Uh, wow! He actually uh, failed his. He failed! Oh my God! Wow. With a plus, with a plus seven, he failed. Right. So he's prone. All right. Uh, so yes, he is prone. And I'm going to move over here. Wait! Oh, this isn't scaled right though. So it's actually like right there is how far I can move. Yeah, you're right. This isn't scaled correctly. Yeah, no if you everything... use this, it screws everything up. Yeah, let me just hang on. I had this working correctly before, but perhaps when I turned the grid off. Uh, let's see, what does it do now? There we go. Now it should be right. Uh, okay, so that was your turn. Um, it's now his turn. He stands up from prone. Uh, boy, yeah, he's suddenly <laughs> surrounded. He found the whole party. and um, Yeah, I guess he's just going to use his greatsword. Um I think the one who hurt him the most, it would either be Samril or Mirror. I think he would probably focus on Samril because of the giant slaying weapon that you're wielding. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. I, I can't um, blame him. So he takes a step away from, well, actually, he'd uh, draw opportunity attacks from both Serendial, if you have a weapon drawn, and. Um, the snake. What about me? You're 30 feet oh, in the air. Moves. Yeah. Yeah. And you're still. I got a can. Probably in his threatened area. 
Yeah, he's got to leave your threatened area, which technically he okay. never was in. Yeah. Uh, Groot, if you uh, did attack a 10, that would miss. Um, Sorendil, I don't know. If you didn't have a, a melee weapon drawn or anything, that wouldn't. I have, well, I have my rapier, I said, but... Uh... Well, that would work if you want to try and attack him with it. Okay. Sure. The hell? It is a rapier of wounding. Uh, you hit him. 22. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, so right. he 19. takes 11. That oh, yeah, I 11. Didn't... Right, right. Well, unless I take the... I could take my... Yeah. What the hell? I'll take my inspiration, because why not? 19, and he. it's a rapier of wounding, so... He has to make a DC 15 con save or um, bleed. Wounded. Uh, which he failed. Nice. Okay. So he takes 1d4 necrotic. Uh, two points. And then he'll have to re-roll each turn. Uh, okay, hang on. Wounded. Okay, I'll put it before his turn, actually. Okay. All right, so then he gets to where he wanted to be, and he takes two swings at Samroll. Oops. Uh, 28 Ow. for 21 oh. slashing. And a 25 for 25 Ow. slashing. Oh. Ouch. Uh, Sweet geez. Lord, Lord. Who is that on? Uh, I was on Samro. Damn, son. Now he can use that thing he was going to try. What? Yeah. I think he's muted. Uh, dying? Is that the thing I was going to try? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, that's really. You were going to cast that well, thing to make him roll a D8. My, yeah, I subtracted D8, but my AC is 18, so I got to roll an 8 on the 25. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Shit, right. So I'm not even bothering. <laughs> right. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Duke Zalto is climbing up the side of the cliff uh, he gets about halfway up and then abruptly stops and fishes something out of his pouch and he blows a small what looks like a horn not a conch but a horn <laughs> and it's like Whoa! and that was Damn his it. action so that's pretty much all he could do uh, Valdry it is your turn uh, you're floating directly above hey. this fire giant. Hey, shit. So is, is Samuel, are you up or are you down? Oh, I'm still up, but, I mean, I'm in rough shape. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I am going to do this. For instance, I saw Samuel get the shit kicked out of him. Um, anyway, this I want... Uh, that's what I want. I want preserve, preserve life. So, so uh, you can have forty hit points as long as it doesn't put you more back to more than half of what you have. And if anyone else needs hit points, <laughs> Bueller, anyone? Groot, I'm fine for now. Does Groot? Does does the snake need hit points? It's pretty much it, Max. You're muted, Paul Toucher. I do not need hit points. That's okay. all yours, then. Well, so just, 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 yeah, you can have the full 40 if that doesn't put you more than half. You're muted again. Oops. I can only gain 13. 
That puts me at exactly half. Or is it I can only gain half? Or two no more mm -hmm. than half. Yeah, so I can only gain 13 to put me at half. Okay. Well, I'll take... Well, I'll take eight of them. That'll put me back at my max. And then as my bonus action, we will try... See if I can hit him with spiritual weapon again. Nice! nice. So eight force plus an additional eight radiant, so 16 total. Okay. <clears throat> All right. The other fire giant that was at the bridge continues... Sorry, sorry, Don. That eight radiant doesn't count for a spell, not for spiritual weapon. It's when you attack. No, that's that's not my divine strike. That is a that is an effect of my, uh, my radiant soul ability. When I invoke my okay. radiant soul, I I deal an extra eight points of radiant regardless of what I use. You can deal extra okay. radiant damage to one target when you deal damage to it with an attack or a spell. Nice. Yep. So. Cool. Good job. So the fire giant did a dash, uh, ran right by where Duke Zelta was climbing up. So it looks like he's taking a different approach. Uh, Serendial. Can we see Duke Zelta? Um, not where you're standing at the moment. No, you could. You have a rough idea of where he is, though. He's also um, holding a torch too. Yeah, <laughs> Amazingly okay. enough, so giants don't see. have dark vision. Paul, we uh. All right, we, I move over here. We may need to think about getting the hell out of here into the airship. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cast chromatic orb and I'm going to make it a acid orb no I'm going to make it actually a frost orb hoping that it'll do more cold um, cold yeah, yeah. Uh, but it you know it's 14 I assume that's a miss yeah yes that's a miss oh I I'm sorry uh, Samuel when he ran up to you um, he actually you need to, to make a strength saving throw. Oh, oh. See if you got knocked on your yeah. ass. Okay, I'm also going to use my ability to use Oh, I got uh, a three. Frostbite. I'm not at advantage. So, yeah. You're prone. I, I, yeah. Definitely so prone. So I use my um, blade song to use uh, cast frostbite on him as well. He has to make a DC 15 or uh, constitution save, which. He's a giant. He'll probably make that. Okay, so Frostbite, DC 15, con. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so he takes nothing. Okay. Then, uh, and you're going to stay where you're at, position. Um... Yeah, I, I, you know, I don't want an attack of opportunity on me, so. Okay. All right. Groot. Could I? I'm a large creature. He's a large creature. Yeah, to make a, uh, Borgo's large. I would like to make an attack to uh, on, on his torch to break it to snuff it out. Whatever. That's that's my goal. To wing, step. I'll use my got a ten foot reach with my bite. So I want to reach up and I want to bite or swallow, <laughs> swallow the freaking torch. You want to swallow goal. the torch? Um, sure. Okay, hang on. Uh, give me a second. I want to bite it. Stuff it out. I want to stick it. I want to grab it in my mouth and and I don't want to snap. Because I can snap it off, I would. But either way. I put it in my mouth. I might burn myself, but at least I would. I, would, I want to snuff it out. Let's just see if I hit first. If it, then, then you can. Right. Roll, right. Yeah. Give me a second here. Yeah. Whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, uh, this would be. Doesn't matter. I mean, not even close. Yeah. There's 
five, 5e doesn't have like a grab attack specifically like uh, third edition did i was looking up some of the grappling rules but it's it, basically it's a natural attack as a bite so i, I probably would have allowed that to initiate it but yeah nine he basically kind of pulls it back out of the way um uh, okay so that was groot the snake uh mirror all right I take it I'm within his threatened area now, correct? Um, I was just trying to determine that. It's, yeah. Well, he no, I'd say he was within, he's within five feet of you. Oh, but yeah, you are in his threatened area. I'm sorry, I was thinking of the. So I I, I can't move out of there, but I can still use my bow. Yes, at disadvantage. Right? Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, that's my better damage, so, and I generally roll pretty good, so I'll do that. Um, Gonna do my Hunter's Mark first. Okay, well, as you step out of his threat dairy, he does get an opportunity attack on you. I'm not moving. Oh, I'm sorry, um, I thought you were said you were, never mind, then he wouldn't. No, I'm gonna roll at disadvantage. Oh, gotcha, okay. No. Yeah. mm-hmm. Well, 24 hit. <laughs> Which, boy, that disadvantage really Jeez. hurt you. Yep. So uh, 14, 15, 16 total on that one with the Hunter's Mark and the second one. Um, yep. So that missed. Yep, that pings off his armor. Yep. Okay. Actually, no, uh, that's a disadvantage, though. So your bow snaps. Oh, yeah, because that's... Yeah. Oh, no. okay. Sting! So I got to, like, restring yeah. it for a round? Yep. Okay. That's fair. Uh, Well, Uncut's not doing anything, so I'm taking him out of the initiative here. Uh, Samrel, it is your turn. <laughs> All right, I guess. I am going to continue attacking. Just enough to hit. <laughs> 19 more. Okay, ouch. And he needs to make another uh, strength saving throw, correct? Yep. Yep. Yes, he does. All right. That time he made a 19. Uh, there we go. So yes, he is not Dang. prone. He has to make his... He does have to make his save, though, against the bleeding, which is also a DC 15. Uh, Yeah, I was going to do that after Samuel's turn. I don't know if he's done. Oh, okay. Yep. He's got uh, that in the order. There. Yeah, I think I'm done then. If he doesn't drop down, I can't leave without taking an opportunity attack. So. Okay. Uh, all right, so then he does take an additional amount of bleed damage. Um, I'll just let you roll for that, Tim, if you want. Oh, he failed his con oh, save? Oh, sorry, I forget. He gets an additional con save. DC 15 con save. Yeah, he's... He doesn't have to roll anymore. Okay, so He's he kind of shook it off. Yep. All right, off. Uh, I'll get rid of this. Walk it off, buddy. Walk it off. Walk it off. Uh, it is his turn now. Um, yeah, he really doesn't like all these arrows jutting out of him, so Mirror, he's going <laughs> to focus on you now. Uh, he he doesn't no. like it. Not, not to say that he you know, suddenly fell in love Likes with you. Likes anything yeah. else, right. Yes, I, uh, I so, get it. Uh, 25... Oh, to yeah. hit for 24 slashing. Uh, second okay. attack is a 16, which may not be enough. No, that's All not. All right, so you duck. Oh, wait, that is. Oh, um, well, you... I, I'll use my inspiration, though. Yeah, okay. To reduce it by three. So you Perfect. Got a 13. I am a 16. I taught Armor class. Okay. All right, so he fails his uh, attack then with Samuel distracting him yep. just at a key moment. Um, all right, then, yeah, he's going to stay where he's at. Duke Zelto uh, spends another turn climbing up to this shelf, and uh, he sees you guys fighting 
uh, this fire giant, and he says, "Take them all down." Uh, and that's all you can do. So, Baldry, it's your turn. So I can, so I can see old Dookie, right? Dookie, <laughs> yeah. Count Dookie. Dookie McDookie. No, it's Duke Zelto. All right. All right. Uh, I am going. I am going to turn my attention, hovering in the air, to said Duke Zolto, and let's see if I can hit him with a guiding bolt. Is that fire? Gosh, shit. Radiant. Nope. Missed. That's it's radiant. Damage, but... ah. Yeah. So that streaks over his shoulder. Damn it, Jim. Uh, but my bonus action, I will whack the guy below me with the spiritual Mac. Whack him all. Man. Nice. 22 hit. You're doing good with that. So he takes 9 force plus 8 radiance, so another 17. Jesus, <laughs> he was wailing on him with that thing. Yeah, no shit, you're kicking ass. Okay. All right, so the other fire giant starts climbing, kind of makes it up to the first tier. And that's all he can do, pretty much. Serendial. Um, so is the constrictor snake surrounding the giant, basically? No, he was, like, trying to bite it, bite his torch last time, so. I missed him. I did right. nothing all right. to him. So if I do... A lightning bolt. Can I do basically that and not hit the snake? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh. Baldry's up in the air, oh, so yeah. you wouldn't hit him. No, it wouldn't bounce off of him like All right, that. I will. <laughs> All right. I lightning. I lightning. I'm going to hit him and, you know, get the Duke. All right. So DC 15 dex or 23 damage if they make it. Um, Come on. 11, 11, right? Nice. Yes. Uh, there, we, there we go. Uh, the Duke made it. Uh, the other guy did not. So he takes. Duke made it. Hey. 20. So this guy takes 23 and the Duke takes 11. All right. So this bolt of lightning courses through this giant who's like literally right in front of you. It fries him. He's yeah. not dead, but he's like Wiley e. Coyote. <laughs> Just kind of smoking. Right. Uh, all right, and then I'm going to use my uh, blade song to go ahead and hit him with my rapier wounding. Oh, and nice. he did it! Sweet! Okay, you skewer him right in the nads. <laughs> he howls <laughs> and drops to the ground dead. Nice. Awesome. Fucking sweet. And uh, Duke Zalto roars in fury. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, Groot, it is now your turn. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, so, to the south down here is um, like a, a hundred foot drop or something. To the south of where? Like here to the south of us. Uh, no, that's not a hundred feet. That's more like probably thirty feet. So uh, the snake's length. He could create a slide for us. <laughs> Shoots and ladders. Shoots and la snakes and ladders. <laughs> oh, they cannot see us. So I guess I will double move away. Because they, if they can't see us, then fuck it. I will do that. One no, they could see the lightning blasts and the bolts of you know radiant sure. attacks, but they you know it's kind of like f yeah. lightning flashes. So. And, and they glow, and they glow because they got a torch. Yeah, right? you know exactly where they are. We don't have torches, are. and they can't see us. Then yeah, I'm I'm moving away. Okay, that's as far as I can go. Then mirror, it's your turn. It's a good idea. I'm gonna get back. Get back here also. And Samuel. I hmm. how how far from each other are these two? 
because there's technically like a height difference as well. Right. It's like a 20 foot drop that uncut just fell down and 30 feet to the next one down where Groot is. I think he was talking about the giants. Yeah, the two giants. Like how far apart? The scale are should those be corrected now. So, would we say like forty feet, just because there's also a drop? Oh, I see what you're saying from the elevation. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's let's say probably about thirty-five feet or so. I'm sorry, I saw arrows down back down there. That's why I thought you know. Oh I see, okay. Um then I am going to cast uh I'm gonna cast dissonant whispers on the Duke. Nice. Okay. Does that have a range of 80 feet? I don't know. Oh, because I have that. No, it has a range of 60 feet, but I would just move forward some. Everyone else is running. <laughs> Samuel's like, and Samuel's I... going the other way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's close enough. Uh, so he needs to make a wisdom save. Uh, he got a 20, so he saved, so he will oh. take half damage. So he takes half of eight. Ignore the piercing. I had that box checked accidentally. So he takes four. Okay, he hears some slightly and, irritating whispers in his ear. And then I'll use the other, like, five feet of movement. <laughs> oh, change in plan. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, he... Well, if, if Dissonant Whispers worked, he would have to run away from me, so... Right, yeah. It's worth a shot. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to put a thing of torchlight around these guys. Because that's pretty much the extent of their vision. Oh, that's not right at all. That is not... Oh, is that the radius? Never mind. Because um, they are... Oh, I'll just put it like five. That's good enough. Um, so he moves forward. Duke's also moves forward. Um, again, he's kind of like heedlessly double moving. Um, because he really wants to kick your ass. Uh, unfortunately, he does trip. <laughs> crossing this barrier nice. because he's so infuriated and not watching his feet so uh he gets knocked prone and can't move any f further nice shit i wish i had grease prepared right uh Baldry, it is your turn <laughs> um light him up well, no, so what I'm going to do, um, I am going to drop, I'm going to drop Guardian of Faith, and I want to put it right in front of old Dookie there, because when he gets up, he will have to deal with the Guardian right there. Oh, mm, what did nice. I use for that before? So that's a 30 foot, that's a 30 foot rain, or, um, you got 10 foot yeah. range. So 30 yeah. feet yep. size. Yep. So you have to move up. You're not close enough, right? No, 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 no. It's not the range. It is the range. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Let's. Yeah, let's. Oh, yeah, you gotta be like right, right over there. Yeah. Let How me far see. Yeah, range is 30 feet. I'm 30 oh, you're way the hell yeah. down there. Yeah. That yeah. ain't happening. No. He, I live in Val, Val, Val is right there. Yeah, oh, but you're Val up in the air 30 feet though, aren't you? Right. Hey, you gotta oh. get closer to him. Okay, you're gonna make me do. do... What's your movement rate? Well, if you dropped all the way to the ground, you'd be fine. But like, yeah, so move 15 I... feet forward. Well, I'll no, drop no. It. what I will do is I will I will lower myself to the ground. Okay. I yeah. Do that. 
Exactly, right. And cast, yep. and then I will cast Guardian right in front of him. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, give me a second here. Works. Yep. I am reading the description of your Radiant Soul. Um, causing your eyes to glimmer and two luminous incorporeal wings. Okay, so your wings glow in the dark, so he can see you clear as day. Oh, nice. That's what I was looking up. Yeah. So you are not hidden from him at all in the darkness. Um, but nevertheless, yes, you can do that if you wish to fly down and move him, move yourself within that yep. range. Uh, where you're at right yep. now would yep. be, I think, just... Yep, it's close enough. You look so radiant. Uh, large spectral guard. Yeah, okay, so now back to my original question. What the hell did I use for this thing? That was like some kind of... Didn't we just use like a colored circle? Because it's a mobile, right? Right. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just do that. Okay, so it's like on him. What's the diameter of it? Or size? Uh, it's large. Okay, so it's like that big. Yeah. All right. And and so and then, um, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to extinguish my wings and go dark. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so creature hostile you that moves to a space within ten feet of the guardian for the first time on a turn. Okay, so it, on his turn, since he's already so there, he'll turn. need to yep. make a save. Deck saving throw, yeah. Okay. Um, so meanwhile, the other fire giant clambers up here. And Valdry and Samril make a perception check. That might be the best perception check I've ever rolled. Nice. <laughs> Not me. I don't see okay, shit. Okay, yeah. Valdry, you're kind of keying in on your uh, guardian, ah. dude. Um, but, uh, Samuel, you see rounding the corner further up ah, shit. Uh, two more fire giants, the two that... Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got to get the hell out of here. You Pronto. guys don't see it. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. we don't see it. Meta. I, <laughs> Meta. I yell, oh, fuck, there's more. Yeah, and actually you wouldn't have spotted okay. them if they weren't carrying torches, so that's, you know, their problem. <laughs> uh, come on, let me add a turn. And, uh, bloody hell. Did we come here for Duke? came here for the conch. We didn't come here to kill him. <laughs> yeah, but doesn't he have the conch? Probably. Is, is he conch guy? He is, but, but we're, we're whether he carries it with him or right not, now. I doubt it. We can't get well, it off he... of him if we're dead, too. Yeah. Right. I know. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> How are we getting yeah. out of here, I guess, is the question. I'm running, running faster than them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They're giants, man. Uh, sorry, Neil. It's your turn. All right, fuck it. Um, I'm gonna. Ah, oh, shit. It's a concentration spell, isn't it? Um, I got one polymorph left. Use it. Yeah, but do I go ape and fight him off while you guys? No, grab, fly, fly, fly away. Have he, grab two people, fly away. Fuck it, man. Yeah, save just people. Get the save hell people. Out of here. Yeah, I'm save gonna, people. I'm gonna I'm jump a really off the giant. fucking ledge. I don't know about y'all. I got feather fall. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? How right, far grab, the fall is it? I'm going. Grab, grab somebody. Apparently, and I, go. apparently, I'm grab. a super. Giant. I'm trying to resize you. Just hold still, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Twitching around all over the place. So, <laughs> I will grab um, Baldry and Samurai. 
in my little claws and then fly south, I guess, as far as my feet still carry. So I assume it took time to get them, so half might be. Yeah, maybe. probably. Well, it would basically be like your action to pick them up, so. Uh, right. Oh. Yeah, you can move your okay, full yeah, movement rate. So put yourself where you want to be, and All I'll right, um, move them with you. I'm done. Okay. Here. Thank you. <laughs> so you're grabbed by the talons of this giant eagle, and uh, he's going to drop you over the cliff. Um, Groot, it's your turn. I got feather fly. I lower, I lower my tail down so that mirror can fly me, fly me slide down like a freaking pole. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Okay. And oh, then when he when he's pole. done, uh, can I use my reaction just to drop down the rest of the way? Um, I would say it would be basically a move equivalent I, to kind of extend yourself, and you could ready an action to essentially kind of uncoil once he's down. Yep, that's what I'll do. Okay. That'll work. Mirror, it is actually your turn. All right. I see exactly what they're doing, so I hop on, straddle. Uh, I'm facing the giant, so I'm sliding backwards okay. down there. <laughs> Look at him in the eyes like, yeah, baby, check You're it out. You're next. You guys got to try this pole. When can we move in? Oh, well. Uh, so yes, you. Uh, get my stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna get my stuff. Uh, Groot, uh, your uh, ready to action then triggers once mirror hits the ground, so you can kind of uncoil. So you're now both on that platform. Okay, so uh, fire giant is that one of the guys up there? Yeah, he's gonna move. Oh, okay, well they're both moving together, so I'll just move them both at once. So they are running. Over in this direction. Uh, Samuel, it is your turn. I mean, I guess I'm You're just kind of hanging here. So hanging out. Grabbed by an eagle. Yeah. Yeah. You can cast a spell if you've got the range. Yeah. How <laughs> far? Let me. I was just going to check how far away. So if I have something with a range of 120 feet, I can cast it. Yep. I mean, technically, I can cast Dimension Door. Just really fuck with the eagle. <laughs> <laughs> that's not <laughs> there's a range of uh 500 or uh yeah i can move up to 500 feet so it's just really heck heck shit up uh, i teleport right is, over the no. chasm just to just to show them right dang it yeah pretty much everything i have is too just too short too short of a range, so looks like we're out of luck. So I am just going to let it happen, and if he does get within, I'm going to prepare an action that if he does get within 60 feet of me, I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers. Duke Zelto, meaning he, or? Yes, yeah, Duke Zelto. If he somehow gets within 60 feet of us. I will cast Dissonant Whispers. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. These are again this uh, Guardian of Faith. He is. It's the start of his turn, so he will need to do some sort of saving throw. I have to read the damn spell. Dexterity save. Okay. Yep. Should Oops. probably be okay uh, with that. It wasn't on him, but he gets the same score. So he got an eighteen. He takes half. Yep. So twenty on failed half. So he takes ten radiant damage. Radiant. Yep. All right. And he's going now that he's on a relatively flat. Well, he was kind of charging headlong anyway. But uh, let's see. He can get to. Damn. Basically ten, twenty, thirty. Basically there, which would be within 60 feet of you, Samuel. Nice. All right. Then I am going to cast. Come on. God damn it. Well, we need him to fail. Yeah, we need him to roll like shit. 
DC oh, 14. Hey! Yes! So he takes 12. And oh, I technically keep move. rolling the wrong guy, but it's he has the same stat for wisdom, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, so he failed. Uh, so he <laughs> takes he 12 points damage. Is that right? Yeah. And he must. And he feels yep. crumbled. And he use... must use, I believe, his reaction <laughs> to move away. Says, yeah. Use his reaction, if available, to move as far as his speed allows. Yep, so away. he's going to move half, run away. <laughs> <laughs> run away! Uh, well, um, he's smart enough not to put himself within range of that thing, so he's actually going to run that way. That's fair. He doesn't want to run back towards the thing that just damaged him. Uh, but, yeah, All he right. comes charging towards you, and then a look of fear <laughs> fills his eyes, and yeah, he runs away. Uh, that's only for this turn, but... Uh, Definitely delete him. What the hell? Uh Valdry, it is now your turn. Uh, well, and he is in he is in range, so I am going to cast uh see if see if I can hit him with too bad he's not in the range of my spiritual Mac. Um I'm gonna try guiding bolt on him and see what happens. Come on, hit, you son of a bitch. Nope. Nope. Zing. Swing and a miss. I'm getting so close. Um Yeah. Damage. All right. Otherwise, yeah, you're being carried by the you eagle. You move your spiritual mech toward him. Yeah. No, actually, like you've been pulled away far enough from your spiritual mech that I think that that just uh, goes right. away. Yeah, I, I yeah, lost control. Disappeared. <laughs> no. uh, okay. So, fire giant uh, at the top. Uh, he comes running. He's being more careful, actually. So he's only going to get that far. Uh, he's not consumed by hatred, like. Duke Zelto is. Sorendil, um <laughs> you're a giant eagle. I'll all right, I'll fly eighty feet further south. Okay, so, so I'm gonna basically yeah. 160. 160, double move. Oh, double move. Dash. A winged dash. Gone. We need to get the we dash. need to get to Upchuck. Pronto. <laughs> Where are we going? Where do you want us to go? Are we going up Chuck? Well, you can't sure. really ask him yeah. that question yeah. because you're 160 feet away from him. <laughs> I know. I'm an e and I'm an eagle. And you're a bird. So. Yeah. <laughs> you're a bird. Then. It's quite complicating <laughs> factors. Well, I shout. Well, I I shout to up Chuck. To up Chuck. Yes. Oh, the name of oh, I thought no, you. you okay, I'm, I was thinking. Chuck. Um, yeah, un, never mind. I thought you meant uncut. Okay, I forgot about Upchuck. Oh yeah, yeah. He screams Upchuck, and we all start. Yeah, <laughs> to Upchuck. Yeah, up Chuck. Oh, okay. And Duke oh. Zolto has to make a uh, Constitution save. <laughs> Actually, technically, the boat's name is Chuck, not. Yeah. Upchuck. Okay, that's. Chuck. So when right. when uh, Chuck, you know, you're saying that to a bird, so it's gonna try to feed you. <laughs> Chuck, okay. Uh, Groot, it is your turn. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to here and act like a pole. Can Slip you just constrict me? me? And, can you just constrict me and well, take me with you? I don't uh, He wouldn't be I'm able to really easily negotiate mouth. the side of a cliff if he was also constricted. Oh, okay. Him. Yeah, I get it. Right. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'll do that. So then I'll do the same thing with the reaction and okay. let him slide down me. It's, it's, it's in a good order, right? Yep, yep. so you guys yeah, are right exactly. next to each other. So you guys would wind up basically right next to each other there on the path. Yep. yep. All right. Okay, so the other fire... So, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, it's more about... I, I don't know if you wanted to make this fast. So I have blind sight. So my thought was that theoretically for now on a flat piece... I would just pick up what's his name mirror in my mouth and I would move 60 feet sure. every turn um, since I got blind sight and just keep going <laughs> and see what happens. You're going to go uh, back up the can... path then towards the Yakpo village? No, no. God, no. I'm going away from the freaking giant. <laughs> I'm this going way. Down. The other way. Going away from the giant. Um, okay, so what does it, this direction this way along the path is that what you're saying yeah yep. that is towards right the yak up. folk village oh that is up sure. that continues yeah, up it. down is the direction the oh. fire giants are coming from oh shit okay doc so we want to go up the mountain you guys don't worry about it it's, this is me and mirror's problem now you guys yeah right <laughs> um we could maybe double back 
Yeah, I, I guess that's the case. If, if that's what it is, then that's what we're doing, and we're going to try and uh, we'll fig- I'll figure something out when we get there. All right. Yeah. Okay. Close. Okay. So we have to go the direction that green arrow is pointing then to get Correct. down, right? Right. Yes. Yeah, that's a little confused. I, I can't remember who drew that arrow, but that is indicating down. <laughs> yeah. Downhill. Okay. Um, yes. as opposed to the sheer down cliff side <laughs> on the side of the path. All right, so the fire giants take their turn. They are going to dash. They'll get to about here. And Samuel, you are in the clutches. You're now far enough away that you really can't make out anything. So I, I think I'm going to probably yeah. suspend. Well, just keep skipping over you. Take, take, yeah, the, uh, skip yeah. over me for now. Uh, you and, um, Baldry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Duke, uh, he's no longer frightened. Um, he also can't see anybody up here. You hear him just scream in fury. He's screaming, Find them, rip them. I want you to bring me their heads so that I can stomp on them into the dirt. Um, <laughs> and yeah, he's just kind of looking this way and that. He, didn't you know he couldn't see you you know kind of slip over the side so uh he's just he goes over there he's kind of like waving his torch around but he can't it doesn't really provide yeah, <laughs> it's not like it's a spotlight away, or anything yeah. so uh that was pretty much right. his a turn uh Valdry, you're in the towns of an eagle uh the other fire giant <laughs> kind of runs up not Come on, run right into him. And Serendial, <laughs> you're, well, Serendial you're going to continue making for Chuck? Yeah, I'm going to fly for okay. Chuck. Uh, so, Groot, it is your turn. So, I'm going to pick up Mirror, and um, I'm going to move, double move, 60 feet, I guess we're heading towards the Yak Village. Right. Okay, oh, so no, you're right. making your way back up towards the village. Yep, nothing I can do. Okay, so what is your movement rate as a snake? Um, I can double. I can double sixteen. Okay, so, but your normal movement rate is thirty. Then it's thirty. Yep. Okay. But I also I have blind sight, so I'm figuring that I can move faster than giants. But you know, whatever. No, I'm I, just trying I'm to. I'm doing what I'm doing, and we'll see what happens. I'm trying to avoid a long, drawn-out chase sequence. Right. Um, yep. Yeah. I so I would say too. normally you'd be the same movement rate as I'm, I guess. The other pertinent question is how long can you remain in that form? Four hours. Okay. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Okay, so you are going to make your way back towards the Yak Folk Village. What's your plan when you get there? So my my plan would be if we're far enough ahead, I'm going to let uh, Mirror go. I'm going to change back into my form, and I'm going to say, Mirror, you got to go fucking hide. I can well, meld in the stone for eight hours, and they won't oh, ever okay. be able to find me. But you got to be able to go hide somewhere. <laughs> Sure. Uh, right. Yeah, and I'm uh, I'm small. I'm like five two or whatever, so I'll, I can find some crevice. Yeah, we'll Clamber around and the... climb into. And I'm since they can't see it. shit without their torches. Actually, wait a second. Let's hang on. If I do this on. Um. It's hang on. So I, I guess I'm trying to get to Paul. Is is there? Do we have a minute? Is it like they're hot on our heels and it's like run, or, or the bell rocks chasing us through uh, whatever it is, and and I, we have to say do not pass or we wouldn't bridge, or do we have a few minutes? I would say that the giants are disoriented enough because they can't see in the dark. And the fact that you're moving silently and just as fast as they can, but with the vision, with the dark, uh, blind, blind sight, um, yes, you would yep. you would basically be able to get away and out of combat of those. However, there is, I, I haven't seen if you run into additional giants on your way up to the Yak Folk Village, which is a possibility. Okay. So let yeah. me check that. I guess. Um, no, you do not. So you're able to reach the Yak Folk Village without um, close pursuit. Sure. 
but uh, you okay. you get the impression you hear shouting again. Duke Zalto is just you hear him first of all. Sure. Right. As you get past a certain distance, you hear a loud scream of a giant um, <laughs> as he's pitched over the side of the cliff by Duke Zalto. <laughs> Oh, and <laughs> you you really can't make out what Duke Zalto is saying, but you hear him screaming in rage and fury. But uh, you get the impression that he's not given up his search, and he's going to basically hunt up and down the mountainside until he finds you and kills you. Sure, right. But you get the impression that you know he's he's not any closer to you than he was, so you have a chance to, you've got at least a breath of time to make some moves if you need to. Well, if, and if the three of us can get back to Chuck, you know, we can come, go and do the rescue mission. Sure, <laughs> right? Shoot the big, shoot the big... Uh, but you have uh, no idea where we are. Well, I know, but we can hover around the area. Well, Groot, okay, uh, uh, so, be... hang on, let's, let's, let's... So, uh, uh, let's get us hidden first, maybe. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, okay, so... So, okay. the mirror, mirror, I, I, what I would, I, I think it's a good idea, I... Can we bring up the map of the Yak Folk Village? Yeah, sure. Let yeah. me. Uh, That's where we are. Let me just remove all turns. We've been there several times, so we're pretty, yeah, we're pretty look, good at. We know, we know where everything is. <laughs> uh, let me see. I think I have that loaded here. I'm just gonna clear this turn order thing because we're. Up. I think it, it might be helpful if you're that small. Maybe you can hide in that gearbox where the wheel turns. Remember that, Paul. Uh, that's Dave. inside, inside the, the air, but the, the their lair. But isn't there another? There's the gear comes out towards the oh, water. Right. I was right? thinking of actually hiding like under the broken bridge. You can do that. Hang on. Oh, I could. I'm sure there's like wooden stuff I could hide in. No. Oh, yeah, I suppose. I'm going to yeah. put you guys down in the village here. I've got all these tokens still spewed all over the place. Sure. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think this will work. You guys should be just inside the door. Hang on a second here. So I'm tempted to say just inside the door. Um, uh, I'm sorry, on the west, on the west side. Sorry, which side? Sorry, I, I don't know what that. Which... Oh, okay, I see us. So that's where we are. Yeah, I just put you there. I mean, move yourselves where you want. Sure, to sure. Okay. Um, so I can meld into stone anywhere. It's a single action. We got to find you a good place to hide first. Um, how far back does the um? Uh, there's some. Uh, like a farmland back there, maybe, Dave? Or do you want to really climb oh, underneath like, the broken bridge? Like way back here, you mean? Yeah. Well, I don't want to like, go off the map or anything. Well, that well, you see. can basically assume that the ends, like there's a rock wall where roughly where they Yeah, are. yeah. You guys got to find some place where you can crawl up in a hole and Right. Hide. And, and I got to know where you are because theoretically yeah. what I can do yeah. after I pop out I can come and find you and then I'll have my shape change back and then I'll be okay okay so you got to tell me where we, we I got to know where you are and then I'll I'll go 30 feet or 50 feet away and then I'll turn uh, stone so, shape, or sorry. Going back to like your original idea, if I go like over here by this wheel, and maybe like go prone underneath the shaft, like right here. You see that on the west side by the mill. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there. So I'll put my token over there. All right. And then I'm going to be. So are these walls stone or are they wood? Which walls? 
the the hot gear. Yeah, those are stone. Those are. I don't know. These are. Yeah, you have to look it up. Okay. I believe they're stone, or they're strong yeah, enough that they're I not they easily were. breached. Well, it, I, I, it's melded into stone, so it needs to be stone. I guess yeah, the, bro- the, stone the walls right here, here kind of these walls are definitely stone. Uh, the walls of the village, I have to check. The Yak folk enclosed by 20 foot high walls of mortared stone. So, yes, that's stone. Okay. So, Perfect. So, I want to. So, this is what I'm going to do. He's in his hiding place. I'm going to do that. I put on my ghillie suit and uh, <laughs> <laughs> try to blend into the surroundings, so to speak. No, and then using bef- my and also before capabilities. I'm going to. Uh, we'll, mm, uh, before I turn back, I'm going to do. Sorry. Yeah. No, I didn't say that before. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to rewrite the rules. So I'm going to meld in the stone, and then I'm done. Okay. And then we're going to oh, wait. Man. So okay. So um, let's what? take a quick I break, just... and when we come back, then we'll uh, pick up where you guys were and bring the others. We'll kind of catch up with the other guys and see. Uh, you will have probably gotten to Chuck, so we'll. Uh, see what happens with that (laughs) so back in a bit okay so we're back meanwhile in another part of the woods (laughs) or the mountains i should say uh you guys make your way back to the uh airship and um yeah it's still there Uh, apparently hasn't been discovered by the giants or anybody else. Um, the cultists are still there waiting for you. And, uh, well, they see this giant eagle come swooping in and deposit uh, <laughs> Samril and Valdry on the uh, deck. And I don't know, are you going to stay in an eagle form, Serendil, or are you going to change back to your true form? Oh, hell no. Once I get back, I, I'm turning back into a okay. person, into Slender. So... Yeah, they're uh, all very curious uh, what happened to your companions, uh, Delphine and... Uh, they died. Oh, well, well are we going to leave then? Let's go! <laughs> so, no, uh, so we explain. I mean, we tell them the whole what happened, what we heard. Apparently there's some thing that could destroy the whole mountain. In a flask, contained in a flask. <laughs> And well, you probably... remember the thing that they were building, right? Yeah, the big well, uh, adamantine. Yeah, maybe that. Maybe uh, that, that flash animates was probably it. to animate or... it. Was my thought. Well, I'm not there. Adamantine yeah, well, I'm assuming that uh, Samuel, wonder... you would have told uh, the other two then what you heard. Yeah, I've told at least these two cuz I, I wouldn't have had time to tell the other two. Right, exactly. I would have told these two while we were flying, mm-hmm. let them know what I heard. So, but yeah. So you're mentioning if yeah. you overheard something. Well, I guess yeah, the cultists they don't really know if you tell them what you overheard or if you flew you clue them in on it. Um they're not really sure what they could be referring to. Uh, how many details do you relate, I guess, is kind of the question. Well, I would tell them about the big thing being built, and then they were talking about a flask, which I assume they're connected to somehow animate that big thing that's being built. Or to uh, help, that's, to that's help construct I it? I mean, them. you got to... I mean, ad- oh, is no, adamantine so. meltable it's or forgeable a... by, like, by, like, normal fire? I don't know. I don't know, it's got to be animated somehow, Maybe. that's all I'm assuming. Because if they're talking about how, if you, you know, if it comes, it's if, uncon- did they say if you open this or, or something? It'll blow up the mountain, right? No, it'll destroy everyone or in, everything the mountain, in the mountain, yeah. including mm-hmm. you. Well, we should probably, like, start doing a loiter over... I say to see where they went. 
Um, question uh, for the DM. Is it a moonlit night or is it is a moonless night? Uh, it's fairly moonless. That's why the fire giants were having a tougher time seeing. Okay. So you don't well, have so a that, lot of... That aids us if we want to go <laughs> hovering over the Yak Village. They will not be able to hopefully see us very well, right? Here's the thing. I am completely out of spells, so I am going to go down below and take a nap. <laughs> I'm yeah. useless. I mean, I'm going to do the same because I'm pretty damn low too. Well, I guess I'll, <laughs> I guess I'll keep watch. I've got a few spell slots left. Um, well, they can. I keep mean, I'm watch. assuming those guys are able to keep themselves safe. Yeah. I know Groot can transform into other creatures. I know he's got a few tricks up his sleeve. Um, I'm assuming he's taking care of Mirror, and there's nothing else I can do without having my being up to. Sp- up to speed at least so at the minimum i'm gonna do a short rest so i could gain some spells back but i'm gonna shoot for a long rest yeah i need a long rest i got i'm like out of inspiration i'm out of hit points i'm out of <laughs> yeah. out of everything um basically if the re- if well. your long rest is interrupted by a period of strenuous activity fighting blah 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 at least you uh, the characters must begin the rest again to gain any benefit from it. So you'd have to basically restart your we long rest. Full... Start start again, yeah. Well, I'm going to try yeah. restarting it. Assuming. If you have to wake me up, make sure it's worth it. Okay. So I'm going to tell All right, so you can, guys... Can, uh, can we do that while we're hiding? You aren't there. I'm. We'll get back to you in a minute. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess yeah I would I would I guess I would command and tell our our uh, compatriots um, I don't know do we just want to do we want to stay on the ground I said but I said basically tell them if you keep an eye out for torches okay if you see torches get this thing airborne or were they because they were down on the ground weren't they yes they were waiting for us, so okay. So we're I so I would say stay here on the ground for now. But if you see, keep an eyes out. If you see torches of any time, get airborne and wake me up. <laughs> yeah, the balloon is normally the balloon is vulnerable. That's you know why they weren't up in the air. But at night, it's harder to see. Uh, if it's if if the giants rely on if they don't have dark vision and can't normally see in the dark. Mm-hmm. Um, they, you might be less vulnerable up in the air, except unless there's a flying creature that we're to attack that can see in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it's your uh, I call. They, I will, I saw... Well, it would take them probably about, it takes about two minutes to get the thing aloft. Okay, so I would say I will leave it to your discretion if you think we're you're, we're safer on the ground for right now. But if, like I said, if you see something comping, shoot up. Well, okay, so based on your description, the giants are out in force in a search. If you know, you're not that far away from them, they think that oh, you, okay. you're probably going to be safest in the air at this point. All right, all right, let's get up in the air. Okay. All right, they will take care of that. You, Valerie, you you can go down and rest. They will obviously keep watch, um, yeah. and they can rotate through. And I want to shoot the big cannon on the front. Well, we'll we'll come and get you if we find something to shoot at. I want to I want to <laughs> shoot Duke right to the guts. <clears throat> okay, so you guys are going to take a full eight hour rest, long rest. Then um, you, yeah, it'll all. Be, I'll do some checks here and see. Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, so moving back to um, Groot and Mirror. So you guys are well, Mirror. You're just kind of hanging out under this <laughs> water wheel spindle um, for eight hours straight, essentially, until uh, Groot, your uh, meld with stone, wears off. So well, well, you, wait, well, wait uh, a minute now. So hang on a second. So yeah, so. It's really just we just need to wait an hour. I'm melding the stone. After an hour of sitting there and doing my thing, I can get back my shape change. And then if nobody's around, 
I'm going to go get mirror, turn into an eagle, and fly away. <laughs> okay. All right. Then that's right. – all right. So if, if you're only going to wait an hour, then sure. Yeah. Uh, basically, that would be like the equivalent of taking a short rest, which you guys can use yep. your hit dice <laughs> if you want to. And, and then uh, question, after an Paul, hour – If there is an – we have an hour that's what i'm going to do and then i'm going to pick up a uh, mirror and we're going to go if we don't have an hour then we'll figure something else out <laughs> like if there's uh, fire so when you meld village, that's a problem well okay so when you melded into stone which way were you facing were you facing mirror or were you facing the opposite I'm direction? facing i was facing mirror okay so from your vantage point, you would not be able to really see anything. And I have to read the description to see if you would actually hear anything. Uh, you can make a wisdom perception check to hear sounds outside it with disadvantage. All right, let me try that. Um, okay, so 16. 16. All right, that would still be enough. You, you get a sensation that... There are other larger things moving around, but not in your immediate vicinity. Um, Mirror, you're actually not melded with stone. You you know can see things perfectly, but you uh, ironically can't hear much because of this dr you know drowning noise or this uh, deafening noise from this waterfall and uh, wheel that's turning. Um, but you through the wall. And through, you know, th where this big uh, water wheel spindle goes through, uh, in the chamber beyond, you occasionally do spot the forms of large creatures moving about. Um, and occasionally in this uh, gap where the waterfall falls through, you can see uh, fire giants moving through that door. Um, did you shut these doors here before you uh, hid? If if they were closed when we went in, then we would have shut them when we if we opened them. We they were shut open them. when you came in. They were open then when you came in. Them. Then okay. I shut them. All right. So uh, you don't see anything while you're hiding, and from your hiding spot, you don't see anything come through those doors. But you do see uh, fairly frequent giant activity on the other side, on the west side. And uh, you're assuming they're crossing the bridge, but you get a feeling they may be going down the stairs and not paying close attention to the village itself. Okay. Um, but in that hour, they do not approach you or you where you're hiding. Okay. Well, then after an hour, uh, I came back with my shape change and then I would... Um, I would pop up, go grab mirror, and change into an eagle and fly away. Okay. You're able to do that, and at the time you do it, there don't appear to be any fire giants in the village itself. So you okay. can fly wherever you want to. Are you going to make for Chuck? or? We're making for Chuck. Okay. <laughs> making for Chuck. All right, then in that case, I'm going to move you guys back over to the same map and... Um, yeah, you would essentially show up about probably an hour and a half after everyone else went to bed. Okay. So another giant bird comes flying in and <laughs> drops the other two birds. <laughs> well, actually just drops Mirror. What the fuck? And then, Groot, are you going to turn back or are you going to stay? In, oh, of uh, course. Yeah, I want to take a long rest, too. <laughs> okay. All right, so they kind of fill the the other uh, the dragon cult. At Valdry, I'm assuming you're down quarters, not up on the deck. Yeah. Um, yep. So yeah, Del Stephanie tells you basically explains the same what happened before, and that the others have gone below decks to rest. Um, and yeah, you you found the the balloon pr pretty easily. I mean, you're flying through the air; you could spot it pretty easily with your. In enhanced eyesight so you knew that Eagle eyes. they were kind of alert and you know you had told them and they had said that they would be uh on the ground before unless there was a threat so you figured there's uh well you know there's a threat <laughs> uh you did not spot any giants on the ground but it's fairly forested in this area so uh, but you didn't spot any like torches moving around on the ground okay well i give mirror a fist bump saying hey 
we 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 are still alive. Well done. <laughs> Let's take a nap. Okay, so you go below decks and uh, can complete or restart your long rest. So, um, essentially, some of you guys will wake up like an hour and a half before the others, but after about ten hours, you will all have taken a long rest. And by this time, um, it will be dawn. Um, yeah, the after if you told them that you didn't see any roving bands of torches i think what they're going to do is they're going to pilot the ship once it starts getting near to dawn they're going to pilot the ship some further distance away uh so that they're not like within rock throw of the <laughs> boulder throw of the the area at all and then kind of put down in a little bit safer area so that they're not i mean it's not this big bulbous red target <laughs> that's a great idea so um yeah so you're you're kind of in i guess a like a dell of some sort or something some further distance away like maybe like five ten miles away from um uh from the mountain okay so after you guys complete your long rest so you can restore your hit points Yay. and abilities and everything uh you are not attacked the balloon is not attacked mm -hmm. and uh you're able to complete your long rest so what uh what would you guys like to do after that Let's get right this laddie. We survived. <laughs> well, but I mean, we have some time pressure, don't we? I mean, the smart has got a flask. We still have to get the conch. Yeah. Nothing's really changed, unfortunately. Right, I know. We just managed to <laughs> escape. <laughs> we they get... just now they know we're here. That's changed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're they'll be looking they'll be looking for us now. So, if that's the case, they're on alert. We know we can't take on four or five of them at a time, but we can take on one or two. Is it a as long as gorilla? He doesn't show up. Well, well, I wouldn't mind. Mm. go toe to toe with Dookie if there's one or two of them, but not yeah. Dookie and sixteen Dookie. fire giants. <clears throat> I guess right. my question is. Is it more of a hit and run kind of thing where gorillas uh, doing a hit and run, killing things, and then trying to go in and see what happens? Because I, I, I don't know how we're going to get in unless we can do massive invisibility or come in a completely different direction. They're going to see us coming. <laughs> right. I can do invisibility, just not massive invisibility. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess maybe aerial bombardment of, I can, <laughs> of their their compound. I could fly over and fart on them if that would help. Eagle farts. And I'll we'll hold a torch up and and light it at the same time. <laughs> I th I think they're going to be kind of wary of eagles from now on. Yeah, probably. That's a good call. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot all the eagles they see on general principle. That's a guy that got right. a bird. <laughs> or throw boulders at them anyway. Let's strafe them with the airship. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Stephanie you know, doesn't well, recommend you know, flying that's... anywhere near Iron Slug <laughs> with this boulder. You know, that that's a thought. How many how many boulders could this could this flying ship carry? I mean, we got two two people who could turn into great apes that could, you know, be chucking boulders and be an aerial bombardment kind of thing. Um, this isn't a a, a transport here. I know, but even even a like a basketball sized boulder from a, you know hurled from a good enough height is going to leave a mark if it hits. Ninety six when I throw it. Yeah, there you go. Well, either way, I go back. So I don't know. What do you want to do? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to rip or dip either. They throw one rock <clears> to <throat> that ladder, and we're dead. Yeah, well, I know. I guess good. it depends on how how high up they could throw. Uh, they could throw. I think farther than I can throw, as an ape. <laughs> and I'm I can go ape as well and throw rocks, or just punch them in the face. I think the only so Samuel will live. He can cast feather. Well, I think everybody except for Dave would probably be okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> if we felt I could... plummeting. 
The feather fall you there. can cast on up to five people. So. Oh, there you go. Yeah. We'd be fine. Just stay within, uh, within sixty feet of me, then you'll be fine. So my headset only has 10% left, so I would have to switch the speaker if we keep going too much longer. So Okay. Um, did you guys want That's to... okay. Yeah, it's up to you. I mean... Yeah, I think it's a good spot to kind of hover, so to speak. <laughs> you give us a few weeks to think up some strategy. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so far it seems like you guys... Well, I mean, that, that was kind of an involved thing. I wasn't sure you were going to escape <laughs> Honestly, if you would have stayed in the cave, you really would have been fucked. <laughs> Honestly, because you, there were no, there was a, de it was a dead end. There was no way out of there. Um, yeah. So, uh, if you guys want to discuss over email, um, what your plan is, and maybe uh, if you have specific questions that you maybe what your characters remember about things, or if you want to go back and watch some previous streams about what you learned. Uh, about iron slog last time you were there um yeah that that would work uh but yeah it seems like it seems pretty evident that they know who you are now exactly if they didn't before i mean before it seemed like harshnag was able to like kind of distract them a bit by thinking he was a frost giant attacking them but since you know obviously now they know who you are they already knew you were coming in through the yakboke village entrance so that area is definitely <laughs> they know that's what your preferred mode of entry you know of no way to get past the main adamantium doors they're massive and magically sealed to the best of your knowledge uh, and you know of no other way into this place so that's kind of your central challenge at this point well that's a bitch well it's well they can either come up through the elevator thing, right, or they come up through the spiral staircases. Are there two m exits that we know of, right? Um, well, they're just different means of access, yes. Although, yes, the uh, the elevator you remember did pr go pretty much all the way to the the lower levels. The mines, the staircase was kind of like, it wasn't really so much of a, there was a staircase that went down that connected with the mines, and then the mines snaked all over the place inside of, right, um, right. you know, it was actually, that was kind of mostly what Iron Slug yeah, was. It, right, if fire giants are coming out from the Yak Village, it's going to be in those two places, yeah. as far as we know. Right. Yeah, we haven't explored much of the, the Iron Slug itself. No, we've just dipped a toe in. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> yeah. It's... But if we could, but I mean, if we could take out one of those means of entrance and exit for the fire giants, right? You know, like the elevator disable that so it can't go down. Well, then guess what? They got to come up the staircase. Well, you guys did we disable it when you up. first emerged, or last, you know, the first time you were there. You actually um, damaged it. Oh, that's right. Uh, but you noticed when you came that's back right. that it had been repaired broke the gears or something mm -hmm. didn't we so yeah does that mean that they just they have to just come up that spiral staircase no I, what Unless i'm saying is that you remembered destroying it or damaging it the first time you were there when you came back it looked to be right. operational oh, again. but it's fixed yeah right so they fixed it you know throw some throw some big ass boulders at that thing take it out <laughs> send it crashing down to the lower levels so in any case uh yeah i'll let you guys uh discuss amongst yourselves through email Thunder. or whatever you'd like but it yeah that those are the central challenges facing the group in terms of gaining entry but you you obviously you've now seen that they do have dealings with others as well Mm-hmm. Yep. <clears throat> it's too bad we couldn't get a look at them. Yeah, you're still not sure who they were or because they were speaking in common. There was that odd accent that Samuel kind of picked up on, but he wasn't 100% sure. It just seemed sounded a little bit elvish in some way. Mm. Interesting. It sounded like Gargamel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So anyway, uh, yes, we'll, uh, we can end it here, and uh, we'll pick it up All next right. time and uh, see what happens then. <laughs> so cool. cool. Thanks right. a lot. Good I'm way. glad you survived, guys. I was hey, a little guys. bit worried right. there. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hey, there's no shame in running. No, that's the smartest that's right. thing to do and uh, live to yep. fight another day. So maybe exactly. third time yep. will be a charm. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll catch you guys right. next time. Yeah. Thanks All a right. lot. See you, gang. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.